guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a special one. We are gonna start our giveaway. We're starting our giveaway. I'm excited, I'm like a little nervous about how we wanna do it. I'm gonna explain it all. But to do our giveaway, to start off our giveaway, I decided to call in some experts, some giveaway experts. I wanted to have somebody so amazing come and help us with our experts. So let me introduce you to help our- Help us with our experts? Help us with our giveaway. Let me introduce you to our giveaway experts. Dun da da da. It's Jacob and Brooklyn. All right, so are you guys ready to give away something? Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna give away our batteries dead. Let me change the battery. Let me change, we gotta change, see that light flashing? Yeah. That's a battery. I gotta get a new one. We'll be right back with the giveaway. All right, Brooklyn, do you have the thing that we're gonna give away today? Mm -hmm. Right, let's show them what is our giveaway today. Hold it up so they can see. We have a donation for our giveaway from Horse and Around Treats. You guys know our horses love them. You've seen them on our channel before. We have unicorn treats. So we have a bag of tiny oh little God, unicorns. Those, yeah, we're going to give away. I like the yeah. I like those ones because they're medium size. Yeah, and then they have these horse in around. Then we have these horse in around ginormous unicorns, purple and white, gorgeous. Those cute. Oh my goodness, that one is cute. Jacob, let's see what else you have. We also have this, manhandled gently by Mr. Jacob. These are little muffins. Do they smell good? Uh, this is the first. These ones are cute because they're medium and they, you can give them to them after the ride. Yeah, there are a lot of treats here. Um, so to win one of these treats, we're going to give three people the opportunity to win one of these things. So each person will win one of these little packages. So he's like, I want them. I want them all for myself. I want those. You want those? I Everybody want wants those. <laughs> all right, so to be eligible to win these treats, all that I ask is for you to go to Horsin Around Treats. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Jacob, leave it alone. Follow them on Instagram. So go and follow them on Instagram and come back and type done in the comments. And tomorrow, Brooklyn and Jacob will draw three names and each of you will win one of these amazing treat bags of treats. I know it's not a huge thing to win, but we will get there. We will get you bigger prizes. This is a very beloved company to us because they make amazing treats. You will see on their Instagram how amazing their treats are. You can get anything from them. But anyway. Bye. Good luck. What's up, guys? It's Doggy here because he's wearing a pumpkin. We got a baby pumpkin. We picked a pumpkin from the pumpkin patch and brought it home. Is this your favorite pumpkin? Yeah. And it can move. Do you see it move? It's a moving pumpkin. Ah. I'm waiting for Sophie to see her, and then we'll take it off of her because I don't think she loves it. Hey, Sophie, come down. <laughs> Sophie, we got a pumpkin. Huh? We got a new pumpkin. Yeah. Remember, don't pick her up, please. Steve, we got a pumpkin. Oh, it's Daisy, isn't it? No, See? a pumpkin. It is Daisy. Hell. Daisy, it's look. Daisy. I'll take my pumpkin back. You want your pumpkin? Yeah. Hey, look. See? I'm a pumpkin doggy. Come here, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little small for you, you guys should see what this dog is like at night. Like, literally, or in the morning. So, Sophie brings her downstairs, feeds her, takes her out for a pee, and then... And then she runs up the stairs as fast as she can, comes to my bed, climbs up, and she has to snuggle for like 20 full minutes. Like she has to be snuggled before she can start her day. There is something wrong with Sam. He has to have that fireplace on 24 seven. The rest of us are boiling. Oh, yeah. And he, he's got the fireplace on. Anyway, I'm excited to have started our giveaway. I'm excited for some of you guys to win. Jacob and me want to be cold. That's what he just said. Sam and Gabby have gone shopping. They've gone to get some food for these grandkids so we can do some fun things tonight. They've gone to get more puppy food. The kids and I have gone into the basement and brought up buckets of toys that we're gonna go through. Um, is this Brooklyn? Um, no, that's, that's, I don't know who that is, but you can play with it. Look at, look at, it tells you what your heart is. If it's going super fast, let's see. Oh, your heart is going so fast. Oh, and look at this bracelet. This oh. is a super cool bracelet. Watch, look at this bracelet. It's magical. Watch. I'm, I'm sleepy. Oh, you are sleepy. That will be good if you, if you get sleepy. Oh, good. Good, nothing better than a tired grandchild. Okay, come here. 
Okay, put this on your arm. What's up, guys? It's a magic. I, I woke up by my nap. What's up, guys? He woke up from his nap. So, if you guys don't know, Jacob watches a lot of YouTube, and whoever he watches I, um, says, What's up, guys? Um, Who do you watch? Which is um, the channel you watch? I watch Team Titans Go, Team Titans Go. Team Titans. And But what do you watch on YouTube? I watch. What is this? That's uh, little people. <gasps> I will get them. Molly's afraid of Jacob. Why? Because you move to her fast, even though she moves at everybody else fast. Look, who is this? Hey, who, who is this guy's called? That's called Jeff. Who, what, who's Jeff? I don't know. Who Jeff is? I don't know. All right, so he figured okay, it out. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay. Ta-da! We got that from Justice. Who's Justice? Justice is a girl's store. Woo! <laughs> All right, we are about an hour into Nana time. Um, um, I want eggs for real. I like eggs. You want eggs? Jacob's hungry. Nono's gone to get some special. Ew. Don't eat raw eggs, Jacob. You also eat raw flour. Yeah, that's that's bad for you, honey. That could make you sick. Okay. Or tired. No, it'll make you throw up. It could make you actually throw up. So basically, what are we making, yeah. Brooklyn? We're making cookies. Crazy. See that booty? Yeah. So Brooklyn just said to me, like, Jacob is crazy. And what did Nana say? God. I made Nana boys said, crazy. Yes, God made boys crazy. But he didn't make them crazy. He just made them have lots of. Oh, Brooklyn said, Jacob is not patient. Don't eat it. God made them like that for a reason. There's always Maybe a reason. I'll make you it for breakfast. Yeah, I'll make you Se eggs. Our second break breakfast. Yeah, no, we're having French toast as soon as Nono Actually, gets home. I don't want eggs. You want eggs? Have you don't want eggs? Yeah, I don't blame you. So anyways, Jacob is supposed to be mixing. Uh oh, Jacob, keep it. Remember, keep it in the bowl. Keep it in the bowl. That's it. And Brooklyn's mixing up half and Sophie's mixing up some. And we are going to make some cookies. Who remembers the craziness that was last year's cookie fiasco? I do. This girl remembers it. It was crazy. Do you remember when we were trying to make cookies and Jacob was just a, a oh, crazy boy? Oh, you were ripping the heads off things. Yeah, we made animal cookies. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> when they when they work done. <laughs> when, they, when they were done <laughs> when they're done you're just whipping off the head. <laughs> we had a lot of headless animals last year, Jacob. This year we're gonna try and not have headless animals. We want full nice animals, okay? So our dough is in the fridge, it has to get cold for a couple of hours and then we're gonna make our cookies. We sent the slowest people out for groceries. The slowest people. Who are the slowest people? No, no, no. No, no, and Gabby. That's Grandpa and Gabby. And so like, we have all of our cookie cutters. Well, there's two sisters. Yeah, there are two sisters. Who are they? I'm Gabby and Sophie. It's Gabby and Sophie. Okay, so we have all of our cookie cutters out. There's a bunch over there. Jacob's playing with them. There are horses and our animals. Are you hungry, Jay Brooklyn? Yeah. People message me all the time and say like, Laura, I'm doing this and I haven't got any signs. God is not giving me signs. So yeah, they're always saying God is not giving me signs and I struggle with that myself. But I always tell you guys about how I have to have signs to feel confident about a choice. If you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, I'm fixing the cushions of the couch because Jacob is a little destroying boy. I'm not. What the heck is I? <laughs> what the heck is I? So I was trying to think like, I try not to do anything without signs. A long time ago I told God, God, I will listen to whatever you tell me. I will do whatever you tell me. But I'm gonna need three signs, God. So I told God, I'm gonna need three signs to know that you're telling me to do something. And so when I don't get the three signs, I sometimes panic and worry, like, am I doing the right thing? So then with my horse, I'm like, last night I said, God, you know, I don't know, I can't tell, I can't read. I, I've never dreamed about this horse or not that I can remember. I don't know, like, even though I am going to see her and I am gonna try her and I am gonna buy her if she's right for me. But before I do all that, it would be reassuring to me to have some signs. So then today, just minding my own business here, and somebody commented and said, hey, last night I had a dream of Sophie in a, in a, at a new farm walking with a brown and white mare and the ponies were following her. And that was a big sign for me because I feel like we're gonna move soon. I feel like 
Sophie, I've always felt that if I buy this mare, that Sophie is gonna really like fight me for her. Not that she's gonna take over, but I, I have always felt that it's gonna be Sophie that's really gonna get into a gated horse with me. So I, that was a big sign for me. But then I still didn't think of it as a sign because like I told you, I need three signs. So then Jacob and Brooklyn arrived just a couple hours later. Jacob, come here and tell me about that show that you were watching. All of a sudden, out of the blue, Jacob says to me, what did you say to me? What was the name of that show? Pennywise. What is it? Pennywise. Pennywise? What is Pennywise? Pennywise the one that eats Wait, I did not understand a single word of that. What? Pennywise eats Georgie's Ormal. Is it a show? Yeah, yeah. He's a kid's arm off. He's a kid. He eats a kid's arm off? Oh, well, that is not a good sign. We do not want any Pennywises. But the point is, is that Jacob came walking right up to me and stared in my face and said, Nana, do you like Pennywise? And Penny is the name of the horse. And I was like, whoa, that is two signs. So once I see one sign, I don't really pay any attention. But then once I get a second sign, I'm on high alert for the third sign. So if, so if God does send me a third sign about this horse today, then I'll feel so much better going to see her. But yeah, I already feel a lot better. Knowing that it's already destined for you and knowing that it's a plan from God always helps to make every situation easier for me. All right, so Jacob has me watching, looking up Pennywise on YouTube, and it's this Georgie death scene, and it seems really scary. And I'm, I'm older. <laughs> look, look at them five. I said, who lets you watch this? And he said, oh, Nana, I'm five now. I'm allowed to watch it. It seems scary. And that's scared to me. Today we got a little cheetah. I bet you it's a Schleich cheetah. So this is from Riley. Also, um, she sent us a picture of her Tennessee yeah, Walker. That's it's a lesson There's horse. There's a cheetah. Shh. It's a lesson horse. It's a lesson horse. No. Okay, so this is Roxy, Riley. and Riley rides her for her lessons. This is the gated horse I need. Like, doesn't she look gorgeous? Like, she is such a nice. Big stocky horses horse. I've noticed that the, the Tennessee walking horses can be really slim and smaller boned, or they can be really stocky like this. This is. I hope this is my girl's like this. I, I think. Know. I think my girl is like that. Thanks. I don't know. Thanks, Riley. And then this was sent to us. I saw this before. This was sent to us by a lady that made this for us. I love it. This is going to be somewhere in our new barn when we move. And this is Stella jumping the bridge into the sunset. Thank you so much, Sarah, for sending us that. She says that she watches our, our videos for the horses because um, her, our horses help her decompress. And I love that. And I, I appreciate that you made this for us. I love it. Thank you for loving our horses yeah. as much as we love our horses. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, guys, for your letters. Okay, I'm gonna take this as my third sign, you guys. All of a sudden, a letter arrived with a gorgeous Tennessee walking horse in it that is the same kind of body as the one that I'm trying. You guys, we just shot our Halloween special. We just shot our Halloween special. We just shot our Halloween special. I hope it turns out good. I'm gonna edit it. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, are you gonna watch it? I need help. Are you gonna watch it? Yeah, I'm gonna look at the comments and see who got scared. Oh, that's awesome. So. Okay, let's get you a helmet. And then I'll come and then I'll come and say that's not scary. On Halloween, you guys, make sure you watch our. Okay, yeah, that one will probably fit you. On Halloween, make sure you watch our video because Brooklyn's gonna be looking at the comments. Do you actually read the comments sometimes? Oh, that's awesome. And so make sure you tell Brooklyn if you were scared. Holy heck, oh, Jacob, you have too big of a head. <laughs> Jacob, try this one. That one is way too tiny. Uh oh, don't drop them. I'm, I'm, that's two for babies. That one's two for babies? Okay, yeah. all right, let's go. So we are down here while we were shooting our Halloween. Oh, oh she's looking. While we were shooting our Halloween video, uh, the girls tacked up the horse. Well, they tacked up the ponies, but look at this pony. Has what? Has spots. Like, there's no pressure. Yeah. Oh, no spots? No, that's from Storm attacking her. Mm. Storm attacked her. That's right, I remember. Yeah. Well, All right, so we're gonna take Brooklyn and Jacob for a little trail ride. Did you get your helmet? Nana has to fix that thing. Yeah, it's a little loose. I'll fix it. Okay. Nana needs those for her new horse. I'm, I'm gonna buy a new horse today. What's your yeah. new horse's name? Her name is Penny. Can I buy you? 
Isn't that crazy? Is she a hen? No, she's not a hen. Well, she's kind of a hen. She's a girl. I want to see. That's a chicken. I'm getting picking her up next week. I'm going to try her next week, and then if I like her, I'll bring her home. Can I have Yeah. And then we just get to ride her. Yeah, you'll love riding her. She's so smooth. It's not scary. Riding those horses is so fun. She's very big. All right, it's windy outside, so I don't know how much audio I'm going to be able to record. Brooklyn, are you ready to ride? Yes! I love I love sugar, Brooklyn. I've never seen this side of you before. I'm going to feed you more sugar more often. I, I am. I am. Mom. I, do, I want to see the calm Jacob, the non-sugar Jacob. So you know what Gabby's doing? What? She's no, lunging your horse a little. You know what lunging your horse is? No. She's getting lots of energy out of her. Molly, Molly, get! Uh oh, uh oh, stay, stay, stay. I just bought my dad. Can you dog. Go back to the dog? Rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we can ride in the rain. Nana bought you that nice raincoat. Is it a raincoat? All right, Brooke. You need to wait your turn. I want Brooklyn to go on first in case Gracie gets too active, too energetic, and she does funny business. You don't want to get any funny business, do you? This is actually a huge accomplishment. You guys probably don't know because I didn't share a lot of it, but ever since Brooklyn started riding, started like getting on horses ever since she was really small, like three, I think, with us, she's always been nervous and always been kind of scared. Always taking a little bit of coaxing. I don't know where she gets that from. Anyways, she's doing really good. Like she just jumped right up on top of that horse. <laughs> Jacob, come here. What? You can't walk behind the horse. I love how you're moving, Brooklyn. I love how you're moving with her. Yeah, she's a good girl. She told me that the last time she rode her, she was bad. Jacob! We would let Brooklyn hold the reins, except for that she won't be able to keep Gracie from trying to eat the grass. That's the problem. She's very bouncy. Do you like her? I was just saying that ponies are bouncier than other horses. That's why it's good to learn to ride on a bouncy horse. No, it's good to ride on ponies because then you know all the crap. And yeah. The yeah, that's why I like things. Yeah, that's what Sophie had to do. Okay. Keep going. Oh my gosh, where's Jacob? No. My Almost your turn. At least when they're scared, they're careful. When they're brave, they don't care. This is what I feel like when I'm on Gracie. 
wait. I don't move my bounce. Uh oh, watch him. Move okay, right show me again. This is what Brooklyn feels like when she's on Gracie. Her feet don't move, but she just bounces. Yeah, that's awesome. I had my second spook on her. Did she spook again? Yeah. Yeah, you're turning. Did you do it behind her? And what? And what did she do when she spooked? She's good forward a bit, like. Whoop. Yeah. See, you can handle anything that's while you sit. That's a nice saddle. Western That's saddles good. are fun. She couldn't see behind her, and then suddenly Jacob yeah. was right here touching her butt, like, hi. Well, I'm glad she didn't kick him. We're never getting back to the house. We're stuck down here forever doing the pony parade. Yeah. Kids are obsessed. Jacob's riding, too. Look. Look how Jacob's riding. Look at, show them how you move your body when you ride. Show them what you were just doing. See he, see, he knows how to ride. Like You just ride one time and all of a sudden your body wants to ride. I actually feel like my body is not as old as myself. Like my, my, I'm older than my body because I'm always able to do a lot of things with my body. But then I just sat down here behind Jacob and when I bent my hips this low to the ground, kind of felt a little off. Like I just didn't feel like I <laughs> had that bend still left in me. First time that's ever happened. Brooke, and it fell on the horse. I fell off the horse. Jacob fell off the horse. And and and, and I broke I broke my leg. And he broke his leg. You guys, that is the title of the video. <laughs> I don't know where he finds his stuff. Ow! Ow! I broke my horse. <laughs> I learned a lot from having scared, nervous riders and being scared myself. I learned that it's important to take the beginning of the horse journey and my goal even though I know Brooklyn could do more and while she's here she could learn to hold the reins and control Gracie and stop her from eating the grass but my goal here on their visits or my goal on their visits to us is to make sure that all of her riding is fun and and and, and fun and easy and not scary like that's my big goal I want her to be I want her to learn to love riding before any scary stuff happens. Like I want her to have like a good basic comfort. I want her to have a good basic security in riding before she learns like about all the bad stuff that could happen. Her and Gabby are gone on a trail ride. I'm waiting for them. Soon that's gonna be me and Penny. I like going up hills better than down. On the trail. Was it fun? Look at how much she learned in her lessons. Go ahead. Molly, get. Good job, Brooklyn. You're awesome. You get off way better than Nana. We got a birthday card. Yeah. And Jacob got a gun. Pink. Pink is my color, Missy. I like every color. I love pink. A birthday girl. Well, where are those? It's her birthday. Fifty dollars. I can buy the little bit of bridle. Wow. Woohoo! So thank you, Oma. No, no, you just bought Sophie a bridle for her. Oh my goodness, noisy kid. Take your puppy outside, Sophie. Uh, Jacob, don't shoot the toaster. Words you never ever thought you would say. Okay, so what did you just say to me, Brooklyn? Jacob should live with Nana. Why should Jacob live with Nana? Because he always is like, what's up guys, and stuff. So Jacob's a YouTuber. Is that what you're trying to say? Jacob, you want to come live with Nana and be on a YouTube all the time? All right, let's do it. Kids are going to do their cookies, cut their cookies down. We're going to bake them. I'm going to edit today's video so that it's up for you guys for tomorrow. And Sam's taking the girls to riding tonight, like the olden days. Like the olden days when I used to stay home and get stuff done and edit the vlog. And Sam used to take them to riding. He's taking them. I'm going to miss it. It's going to be hard on my heart, but I'm going to stay here and spend time with my grandkids. We're going to make a fun bed in the living room. And then we're going to watch movies and have popcorn. 
house. Yeah, the hate the house. The day by day house is getting crazy. Y'all thought it was gonna be the dogs that made it crazy. It's not. It's the kids. See you guys tomorrow. We're going someplace super fun, and we're gonna announce our giveaway winner tomorrow and do another giveaway. Big thank you to Horse and Round Treats for sponsoring today's giveaway. Thanks so much. I wanted those treats. Yeah, some three people are gonna win. I wanted those treats. Yeah, Sophie. Sophie joined the giveaway. She followed them, and now she's gonna comment. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?